Well, hello, the Gregory's Guru here again today, and we're going to talk about a really exciting program we have. Um, it's called a bag full of cookies, and you can use this as a retail pack to sell it to your customers, and they can take it home and bake it, and you can have a fresh cookie program right in either your deli or your bakery department at the same time. When the marketing guys were sitting around trying to figure out what to call this, and they had this bag of cookies, it's like, hey, let's call it a bag full of cookies. So that's how that came up to be. But it's actually a pretty successful program for the people that are using it already. We've made some improvements on it. We've got some colored graphics for the different varieties. It's also has a gusseted bag now, so a lot of people put this in the frozen food section um, of their store, and they sit up nice and tall so you can see the cookies really well. But the, the really cool thing about it is, you know, I know how it is when you've got a small freezer in either your bakery or your deli. You walk in there and it's all this stuff in there and you're moving boxes around and this and that. Well, this application you can use both for selling it out on the shelf and you can also use it to bake fresh. In fact, you can, a lot of, in a lot of cases, you can put the cookies out in the freezer case out in front and then you can pull from that inventory so you don't have anything sitting back in your back room freezer at all, which is a great, great way to do this as well. It helps free up some space and it's really not necessary to have you know one cookie just for baking fresh cookies and another one to sell to your customers okay let's get started I wanted to show you first how they're packed you get six bags in a case they come in a box like this um, all the different varieties most of them have 48 cookies in a bag um, there's a couple that have 36 and that's the uh, macadamia nut with white chocolate in it and the dark chocolate with the white chocolate chips they have 36 and then we also have a spritz cookie that's seasonal um, it's a smaller cookie, it's a half ounce cookie, um, similar to what you use for um, the holidays, and that uh, comes 72 to a, to a bag like this. Uh, the nice thing also is, is they're all line priced, so you can have a, a single retail out there on the shelf. I always recommend right around $9.99 or even maybe a little less on the shelf for the cons consumer to use. Um, your margins are going to be right around 30%. I know a lot of the bakery delis that's a little low, but um, you know that's a good good price point to have for these to move through them for your customers to buy. You don't have any labor into it, so there really isn't a need to be any higher than that. But you can then take these cookies and bake them fresh. Um, the way I do that. So I've got a little pan here. We're actually going to use this little oven here to simulate a um, wind oven or a deli combi oven. Um, you can also bake these cookies in a regular conventional oven or a rack oven if you have that in your store. Uh, but a lot of stores that I visit, um, they just don't have that space or whatnot. So this is kind of a good program that's geared towards the smaller stores. All right, so you just open up the bag here. And there's a, there's a tear tab on top. I've already teared this one, but or tore this one. But uh, you just tear that, and then there's a Ziploc kind of seal that you can use. To reseal it so you don't have to bake a whole bag at once, you can bake a few. This particular pan you can actually only put six on, so we're going to put six cookies on here. Now you're going to want to thaw these before you put them in the oven, whether it's a big oven or a small oven, they get a little more spread for you. They're going to take about nine to eleven minutes, twelve minutes at, at the high end, but really more around ten, eleven minutes. Um, so depending on how your oven is, every oven's different. This particular one, we're going to set it at 350. Um, a lot of the wind ovens, you're probably going to want to go down to about 330 or so. Um, a conventional oven, like the ones that the real ovens that rotate this way, um, that you load pans into, they're 375. Which actually, on the back of the bag, it does say 375. That's kind of geared more for the home consumer. Um, as far as the temperature on that, and then a rack oven, you're going to be around 360. Just keep in mind, you want them to get done in about you know nine to 11 minutes or so. All right. Um, so we're going to get these things ready to go in the oven here, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back, and our cookies are ready to come out of the oven. You can see we got a nice golden brown color on them. They're not too dark. Um, but they've got a nice nice bake to them. That was 11 minutes in this particular oven. And I know a lot of ovens have got hot spots, so you may need to rotate the, the pan around halfway through or maybe even to a higher or a lower shelf. Um, but you can get a nice finished product like that. Um, and here again, this is a great product for the consumer to take home and we've got the baking instructions right on the back of the bag here. All right, thank you.